intro and then up on two. Welcome to the warm-up presented by Mercer Landmark. We are at Frickers in Van Wert to talk Panther football with Parkway head coach Dan Carnes. And on the end, we have sophomore Alec Shaneweb and wide receiver defensive back. Coach, we'll start with you. Let's reflect back on 2013 for a minute. Started strong 3-2, mm -hmm. but then lost the final five games of the season. What could you take away from last season and build upon coming into the 2014 campaign? Uh, well, like you said, we started off really strong last year. Um, what really hurt us, we, I think we started off 3-1, and one actually. And uh, what ended up happening to us, we ran into some injuries about midway through the season, lost a couple key players, a couple guys that were two-way starters for us. And uh, we didn't have a lot of depth last year. Uh, numbers were down a little bit from what they are this year. And we had some young guys step in and, and had to fill some big shoes. And they didn't have the... The, uh, you know, the, the luxury of going through two days, they had to, you know, be thrown into the fire against the, you know, likes of Marion, you know, Minster, uh, Coldwater, and, and it was a tough baptism for those guys. Um, the, you know, the good thing is a lot of those young, inexperienced guys are back this year, so that's a definite plus for us, and our numbers are up as well. Alec, you've been in camp this past week. How are things going uh, through the summer into camp? And, and you mentioned that numbers are up. That's got to be encouraging for the program. Yeah, uh, camp's going, going pretty good. Uh, got a lot of numbers this year, and depth really helps with injuries. You know, we usually have a lot of those, but so far we're all right. Coach, what have you seen in camp? Any big surprises so far? Um, honestly, no. I mean, I, I haven't been surprised by anything we've seen. Um, there's a lot of positions right now for us, you know, that are still up for grabs. Um, we've got, like I said, a number of guys playing two ways right now, but we really feel that there's some upperclassmen, some juniors, some sophomores that we're just kind of waiting to, for them to answer the bell and, and to step up. Um, you know, we talked about last year briefly, you know, Alex Shane Levin, you know, the gentleman next to me, he was one of the guys that was thrown into the fire last year, um, you know, as a starter in, at, towards the end of the season. And right now he's so fighting for a position. So, you know, that, and that's a wide, nice luxury nice for us. Um, you know, we're, we basically have a varsity A, B group, and we have a JV A, B group. And it's, it's somewhere that we haven't been in that position in years past that we're trying to figure out how to get everybody involved in practice and, and how to get everybody involved in, in the scrimmages. That's a good problem to have. Alex, Alec, what did you learn from last year being thrown into that as a freshman, and, and how valuable is that experience coming into this season, fighting for a spot? Um, it was a lot different than JV for sure. You know, it was just yeah. a lot faster paced, bigger guys coming at you, you know. You just can't play scared, and it's just hmm, a big difference overall. On the offensive side of the ball, you're replacing Austin Dennison at quarterback. What can we expect offensively out of the Panthers this season? Uh, we're going to be uh, primarily a spread team, although we'll, I mean, we'll be in a spread, but we are still would like to run the ball. Um, you'll see us in a little bit of two-back offense as well. We'll be in some two-back, but like I said, we're going to be in a spread look, but we're, we still would like to be able to run the ball when we want to, not necessarily when other teams are trying to force us to. Alec, first scrimmage was yesterday. How was it to get out on the field against another opponent and, and hit somebody else besides your own guys? Um. Felt pretty good, but I feel like we could have played a lot better. We just kind of fell apart, you know, and just a lot of mental errors. Coach, what did you take away from the scrimmage? Is there stuff you could build upon after seeing your guys out there for a full game? A lot of work. A lot. Of, we have to put a lot more work in. Uh, we we started off pretty strong. Our first couple series, I thought we uh, we played pretty well. Then we went to some game situation. Um, I think we just kind of. You know, Alex said a little bit, we kind of fell apart and, and we panicked a little bit. A couple things didn't go our way. We turned the ball over and things just kind of, you know, kept snowballing, went downhill from there. So um, definitely something for us to learn from that we have to, you know, have a very short memory and forget about that last play and get right after it, you know, coming on the next play. Alec, where have you seen the most improvement out of the team in camp so far? Um, I think our lines came a long way, you know, it just – not as big as we were last year, but definitely got a lot of strength on it. Uh, I think our D-line should be pretty good. And we've had a lot of younger guys kind of step up and fill the shoes of the older guys that left. We had a lot of seniors graduate and got a lot of guys coming to fill their spots. 
having a big line is such an important part of competing in the MAC. How do you prepare the guys for those conference games? Is there a different mindset going into them? You know, honestly, I, I don't. It, it's one. It's one tough game after another. You know, it, when you're in the MAC which I consider the best league in the state, there are no off weeks. I mean, everybody that you're playing is, is a good team. They're a 500 team or better if you throw them in another conference. Um, we don't have the luxury of, you know, any kind of easy schedule. We open the season with two playoff teams as non-conference games. Then we go into the MAC play. I mean, the good thing about that when you're playing teams the caliber of Crestview and, and Arlington, they're going to get you ready for a MAC play. You know, there's not going to be any let down those first two weeks and then big surprise come, you know, week three. So I think those are going to be good games for us in terms of preparing us for the competition that we're going to see week, starting week three. Speaking of that opener, Alec, you open up at Crestview. What are you looking forward to out of that one? It was a game that you guys got shut out by the Knights last year, so maybe a little revenge on the mind? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we just got to make plays. That's all we got to do. You, can, you know, can't try to do too much just one guy because that's when stuff starts to go wrong. Coach, you have a, a leadership group on this team that's kind of taken hold. And how have you seen them instill some of the values that you want to see in the younger guys? Well, th those are things that we, we meet and periodically throughout the course of the year. Um, that leadership council has a lot of input on what we do in terms of uniforms, team activities that we do. They help uh, create some of the rules that we have as a team. Um, in terms of, uh, you know, our locker room situation and locker room behavior and uh, locker room appearance. They, they have a lot of input on our team, and, and I think the uh, team members respect that. Um, and, and I think it's, it's definitely been a, a good thing for our team, and, and they're doing a nice job in terms of leading the way and, and leading by example. Oh, well, Al, Coach, thank you so much for taking the time to join thank us you. here at Frickers. Best of luck this season. It is time for a break on the warm-up, but when we come back, Mark Kuntz, or Andy Lynch, rather, will join us and chat with some of the Parkway Panther players. We welcome you back to the warm-up here on WOSN, brought to you by Mercer Landmark. Andy Lynch here with three of the Parkway Panther seniors. To my left is Chris Gangware, a wide receiver defensive back. Jared Putoff is in the middle, and Caleb Heindel down on the end, another wide receiver in DB. Caleb, how is this wide receiver core looking for the Panthers? I think this year it'll be a strong receiver's core. Uh, we, had, we lost a couple seniors last year uh, due to injury, and I think that we can definitely uh, take their place this year. How have things been different this summer for the Parkway Panthers? Is anything that sticks out for you? I think uh, the numbers this year we've had, 50, 55, uh, it's a big difference from the past few years. How does that make things different during practice, uh, Jared, especially for the linemen? Do you guys see the depth as well? It's really just because we know we have more people behind us. We have to play better or we lose our jobs like pretty easily. So everybody has to step up their game in order to keep their spots. So what's that competition been like between the big guys? Between the big guys, especially like to today's practice, it was pretty intense. And it's, it t usually it is intense, there's the whole, every practice. I see your jersey right here behind you on the wall. Uh, you, you were admiring that as you came in. You guys are wearing mm -hmm. new jerseys this year. How yeah. exciting was that to, pretty, to pick those It was up? real exciting to pick out these jer new jerseys. Chris, kind of take us through the, the process of finding those jerseys and uh, how excited are you guys for this? Oh, we're really excited to show them off and whatnot. Uh, to pick up the new jerseys, the leadership council had to had to come up with different designs and bring them into meetings, oh, wow. and and we had to pick our favorite ones and then go from there. So you guys helped design them. Yep. What a neat thing to do there. Uh, how, how about the system with Coach Carnes? He's established himself at Parkway. You guys have probably known him, you know, growing up as well. Do you feel like it's his system, and you guys are ready to move forward? Yeah, I feel like he's, he's got it all in control and knows what he's doing and 
Things are going well. Yeah, things are going pretty good. Let's talk about your quarterback. Justin Barna stepped in last year as a freshman. You guys have uh, established some rapport, I would imagine, from last year until now. Yeah, he's, he's young. He's still got a long way to go, but he's definitely improved a lot since last year as a freshman. We'll finish up talking about Crestview, Jared. How excited are you for that big I matchup? am extremely excited for you're, Crestview. You're jumping. Then. You're ready, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. It's the big rivalry game. They want to bring the trophy back to Rockford. We will see how they do week one, the Parkway Crestview Contest. When we return on the warm-up, brought to you by Mercer Landmark, we'll talk to another senior couple juniors here as we wrap things up with Parkway. Still to come, more from Van Wert County Schools as well. Wayne Trace stopping by later on as well here at Frickers. One more time here at Frickers with the Parkway Panther football team looking for a good season in the MAC. Down at the end, Ryan Lotzenheiser in the middle, Sage Dugan, and it's, I had the wrong Caleb last time. Caleb Heindel is right here. He wasn't down there at the end. That was Caleb Carlson. So Caleb Heindel, let's start with you, senior wide receiver. It's your senior year. This is it. How you feeling? I'm pretty excited. I, I've been dreaming about this since a freshman. It's a big deal. I, I just... It's so excited to finally be a senior and get to show it all that experience that I got through my four years on the field. How about 50, 55 guys out at camp, all the competition going on? What's that atmosphere like? Uh, it's pretty heated. A lot of positions are up for grabs, and no one really has a position yet, solid position yet, and uh, a lot of competition between all of us. But. Couple scrimmages coming up, Bethel Tate coming up this weekend, and then next week at Lehman Catholic on that new turf at Sydney Memorial Field, so that should be a good tune-up as well. Sage Dugan in the backfield this year, how are things going for the running game for the Parkway Panthers? Uh, pretty good, we have some things to improve on like always, but uh, I think so far we're doing pretty good. Sage, you, you worked out at Fast all summer, you were working out at Fast during two-a-days, how did you have the energy to do those and then go do your workouts there? Uh, a lot of naps. <laughs> yeah, a lot of naps that. in between. Yeah. You're getting ready for college, naps are very important, yeah, that's yeah. good to hear, just a junior there. Down at the end, uh, Ryan, how, how, the receiving core we talked about, a lot of guys it seems like in the mix for both the receiving positions but also the defensive backfield. Yeah, there's a lot of different guys out there, they're all trying to compete for a spot now, but the competition's getting heated. Ryan, talk about your schedule. I mean, we, we know about the MAC. Coach talked about that, but the two non-conference games to start things. Just how excited you are for Crestview. That's, that's been the focus, I know, since last year. But just kind of talk about what it means to play that game. Yeah, we're real excited for Crestview this year. I think we have a real chance of beating them. And I just want to go out there and just give it to them. Sage, tell us about that rivalry in the Knights. It was only 21 nothing last year. Defensive battle. Do you see that again this season? Yeah, I can see it. Uh, a lot, of a lot of defense into it more, and uh, hopefully we can put some points on the board this year. All right, week two, then Arlington should be a good test as well before they open the max slate at St. Henry, home for Anna and home for Fort Recovery to wrap up the season. Great time with the Parkway Panthers. We're looking forward to week number one here on the warm-up. It's brought to you by Mercer Landmark for Matt Finkel and all of our great crew, Mandy Lynch. We will see you next time here on WSN.